and lab 08 malware analysis 1 basic static analysis we are going to practice these uh, basic static analysis techniques on malware the online tools how to analyze malware format find their dependencies depend dependent on libraries analyze their capabilities for example read and write files read and write modify your registry or connect to network or download files to your computer some malware they are packard so if you don't know what pack means please attend our lecture because we explained every concepts during the lecture The prerequisite, you need to work in the Windows virtual machine with uh, protection disabling lab 03. Mainly, remove your defender, the Windows defender. The materials we are use, one is uh, the labs from this uh, textbook practical malware analysis. The second one is the tools I collected online. They have a different uh, extract passwords. First, let's create a folder to contain all the materials we are going to use today. Create a lab right? Now, right click. Go to this uh, website. Here you can see this uh, 7z is here, so please use uh, 7zip to unzip this file. On the right side, click download. Then you can save it at uh, the place you want. I just save under this uh, lab that I just created. I saved over there. And we explained this part during the lecture. The password is malware. And copy this password. Go to the folder here. Right click with your 7-zip. Extract here. Control V, paste the password or tap it. Okay, now you see you get an exe file. Right click again with a 7-zip. Extract here. Okay, now you see this folder right here. There is a binary collection clan uh, chap from chapter one to chapter twenty first. Okay, this is uh, Mayor Wells. Now let's download the tools. You right click, just save link here. Here, save it on the left right. Go to our lab zero eight. Oops, now you see the size is uh, 98 uh, kilobytes. This is the not right way to download. Just delete it. You need to uh, open it in your new tab first. Here. Now you see the size is 12.1 megabytes. So click this download. And save it. I saved on the lab zero eight. Right now, this time. You check the size. Right? It's more than 12 megabytes. So right click, extract here. Now the password is CIT250. You see all these tools are extracted here. Right? So you see all these tools here. And we used uh, most of these tools during the lecture. So you see the password here, the CIT250. Okay, now we have all the prerequisites. Let's go through all these tasks. Task 1 check malware with online tools such as this virus total. Okay, go to this uh, textbook uh, lab materials, lab 01 1 in chapter. 
chapter one update uh, upload this uh, dynamic library to this virus total website and check the analysis result so first go to this uh, practical malware analysis labs I would like to open in a new uh, window here chapter one you see this uh, exe files and this uh, DLL okay now we right click open this uh, virus total come here we want to upload a file right and choose choose a file upload the DL DLL here lab 01-01.dll now you see the result set file engines detected this file here you see this uh, res the report of the results and you see some antivirus they just said undetected some others some others they said detect detected the malicious malware gene and so on you see the capability of virus and antivirus software they are different we have uh, go through all this stuff so you need to go through these details relations and uh, communities by yourself and uh, collect this report and put it inside your lab report we have gone through all this stuff and explained all the materials during the lecture now this uh, the first task check the analysis result the second one now 6% each file of 2% find the, these hashes of this uh, lab 01-01 then search these hashes on this virus total in this task, we upload the file itself. Now, on this task, we, we only want to uh, uh, search these uh, hashes, and did you get the identical result as previous step? So, how do we get these hashes? There are many ways. You can use a GUI hash or some other hash calculation tools. We have used the GUI hash in our lab to lab uh, to the tool. Right? Today I will demonstrate you another way using a command line. So you go to the chapter 01. In this empty space, press your shift key, then right click, choose open PowerShell window here. So now our PowerShell window is open here. Now we can type some command. The command called get. Uh, file hash and a dash algorithm md file then followed by the file you want to find its md file hash lab 01-01.dll so you get the md file hash we still need two other hashes right the other two hashes SHA-1 and SHA-256 so you can use the arrow key to bring up this uh, command change this empty file to SHA-1 press enter you get the SHA-1 hash code again you change this SHA-1 to 256 then you get this uh, 256 SHA-256 hash code ok we have all three hash codes now we want to search these hash codes. Select it, right click. After right click, is copied into your clipboard. So we can go to the virus total and uh, do a new search. So I suggest you open a new tab. Open a new tab, push here. Now this time we use this search. Here you see your error IP address domain or file hash. Ctrl V paste the empty file hash code here. Press enter. Then you will see these results. Now you need to compare this one 
with the previous one. You see, you have the ident identical result. Right? Do you see it? Even though we didn't upload this file, we only supplied that uh, MD5 hash code, but this is two file. We know this hash, right? This is a short 2 file 6. This is calculated, is uh, formed and calculated automatically for us. In these de details, you can see this MD5 hash, short 1 hash, short 2 file 6 hash. You can compare these three hashes with the hashes you just uh, got here. MD5 the same, show one the same. The case does not uh, matter. Here, show two file six, they are all identical. Especially if you have a file of uh, hundreds of megabytes, if you upload it, it take lots of your time. Right? If, you if you search with the hash code, it's quite small, quite uh, fast. So we complete this task. We we got the identical results. For other two hashes, you need to open two more uh, tab of this uh, virus total and search them to get your result and put it into your uh, report. Task two: analyze p files with p tools such as uh, file analyzer. We know most. Uh, Malware. They are Windows executable files, and Windows executable files, and most of them are using this PE format, portable executable, as we discussed during the lecture for this concept. Now, the file analyzer you can download from its uh, official website. Yeah, you can uh, download from here. I already. Uh, Put in our tools here in our tools that a file analyzer is this one. You need to install it. Double click and install it. After you install it, you will get this uh, file analyzer, not an analyzer, file analyzer. You can open it, then it pop up a window. Right? It pop up a window ask you which file you want to choose. So we want to choose, let's see which file we want to analyze. We install that file analyzer, then use it to analyze this lab 01-01.exe, find the field characteristics in the PE held. We know the P file contains many sections, and in P header it has m many fields, as we discussed during the lecture. Now, let's open that one. Go to lab zero eight. Panel collection. Lab zero one dash zero one dot exe. Okay, we open in this file Eliza. Now you are asked to find the PE header. Here you see you have PE header, MZ head, PE sections, PE imports, exports. You can also even you can check what is total just from this program. That's nice, right? Since we are only asked to find the PE head, header, so you can open this PE header. You can see this file analyzer it provides many uh, capabilities, capabilities for you. So PE header. Here you see lots of fields, P header, P search to optional header, and uh, P search to optional di directories. Now you are asked to find characteristics here, these characteristics in this P header. What this it is, it's a local stripped executable line numbers stripped, local symbols stripped, 32 bit machine expected. So this is a characteristic characteristics of this program. You need to uh, take a screenshot about this one, put it into your report. And you can also see this uh, time date stamp. This is the compilation time 
or is the creation time and you see other fields you can refer to p file format to get the meaning of these uh, fields many of these fields they are quite uh, intuitive find the field characteristics already done now use PEID to find the language find what lang program language this one is written in or what packer is used if it's packed so now let's uh, go to our tools here in lab 8 that PEID is a PID. Now we open that file, which file we are asked to analyze. Analyze the same file, right? So this is PID. You open that. Lab zero one dash zero one dot exe. When you open it, you see the entry point file offset link information subsystem first byte be uh, EP section and you see it's written in Microsoft Visual C++ 6.0 this is uh, quite old okay we found the language the program language this uh, program is uh, written in is written in Microsoft Visual C++ 6.0 in C++ Task 3 Use bin text to analyze this uh, exe file and this uh, dll file to find this following information in this uh, exe file and find the file name it downloads from this domain we know malware usually like to download lots of stuff mainly further malware onto the victim's machine right? We also need to analyze this exe file, find the following information in this DLL file, and answer this uh, answer the, this question. Also, IP address beginning with one hundred twenty-seven. Then we know these uh, the functions. Right? Some of them some of them are functions. Here the commands. You see the information, the purpose of this information. Sleep and hello, the commands that can be sent over the network to tell the malware to sleep and some functions called hello. So for those students, uh, since uh, you have uh, learned the 240 program lang programming, right? so you know you will be able to identify some functions even though you don't know it exactly, but uh, most of them you can guess what the function are used to do. For like example, this find the next file A, find the first file A. There are Windows API files used to search through a directory. And uh, this stuff we have discussed during the lecture. Okay, now let's uh, use this bin text, run it to analyze this one first complete this subtask right. so go to our folder lab 08 that uh, file the program we are going to use is this uh, bin text dot exe open it now choose the file browse Go to the practical malware analysis labs. This one right, we are asked to and to find the strings inside that file. Uh, click go. Here you will find this uh, text. Now find that uh, find the uh, next file first file A. Can scroll down to see that is create create file mapping A. 
Colonel Search Tool. Colonel One Search Tool. Colonel One Search Tool is not a Windows uh, DLL, so it's very likely a malware. You can check this purpose described here. And its location is here. Colonel One Search Tool. This is uh, deceptive. Area. And uh, yeah, we will find this and this. Right? These two information. We, we didn't. We need to find the other two rows. Just scroll down now and find this. Find the next file A. Find the first file A. This part. The string CMI, string ICMP, string ICMP is here. So we found uh, all this uh, information. You can uh, elong elongate this screen and uh, take a screenshot of all the stuff and highlight the terms you find. Right, these are terms, you need to highlight them and take a screenshot, which, uh, show, which shows you have complete, completed this part. Now, for this one, find the file name it downloads from this domain. So we use this bin text, open another file, that uh, 04, here, lab 01-04.exe. Open it, click go. Okay, now first we want to find that domain. You just go through these uh, strings to have a look. Here you see something. Now we find this uh, domain. Here, see this domain? Practical malware analysis.com. And uh, you try to download a file from this domain. And you see this file is called updater.exe. So this file is trying to download updater.exe. You may go through to find other interesting uh, strings. And it's uh, here, the updater also show up here. So this one is done. Now, for this task, find the following information in this uh, lab 01 01 DLL. Find the following information. Browse this uh, lab 01.01.dll, open it, click go. Okay, now try to find these functions. Sleep is here. Create process A is here. Sleep and hello. Please pay attention, the case sensitive. Sleep and hello. Now that exit, exit is uh, four characters, but here you see the shortest one is uh, file characters. We have demonstrated how to find this, uh, the shorter strings during the lecture. We use the uh, filter, specify the string size, the minimum file size. Here is 4, as we can sp specify the minimum text length is 4. Then go back to the search, go search it again. Then you see, you see some uh, string with just four characters. Uh, three. Now we find this exec is here. So this is exec. You are also asked to find that uh, IP address. What is the IP address beginning with uh, one two seven? Here you see it's here. So this IP address beginning with uh, one two seven. Okay, we complete this part now. Task four: Use dependencies, dependencies, to find the dynamic libraries used by this uh, lab zero one zero one dot exe and the dot drl. Here for this one first, open the dependencies, find the dynamic library that export function this string. 
I CMP then from the library that export these two functions okay the dependencies here these are dependencies or you can download from the official website and collect all the needed tools for you for your convenience here these are dependencies so you need to find which file you need to run the dependencies you need to run this uh, dependencies GUI run this one dot exe double click run it ok run it show up here analyze a new binary where the file open it and sim or simply drag and drop it here so use this open okay this one is opened you see two DLL are imported here you choose the first DLL you see the functions imported here it is. We just find this one. When the API find the uh, next file A, find the first file A. So they are inside this uh, dynamic library, kernel32.txt. And you know this one, 132 is a malware. Kernel 32. No, kernel 132 is a malware uh, in the previous sections, right? Here, this is a kernel 32. It's a Microsoft uh, dynamic library. MSVC, the C runtime library. Here, scroll and you see the string I comp. So, here we find the next one. So, these are the libraries provide these uh, functions. Next one, open that uh, DLL file. Okay, this DLL file, you see there is an explanation mark. It says this uh, module has missing imports. What we are asked to do? As find the dynamic lab that exports networking functions ban accept connect so the malware usually they need to connect to network so the the hacker can control your machine so we can uh, click these functions here the first one now the second one now the second one you see uh, here is some ordinal numbers so if you don't know what ordinal means check our lecture and you see here the functions. Okay, we we found these functions. Bind. Accept. Connect. Here, bind, accept, connect. These are the functions. And you check this. Here the ordinal four ordinal four. You also have ordinal four, which means it's uh, the function connect. So we discussed during the lecture to core function you can link by the ordinal by this number or by its name right? or by the connect so this is a way to hide the purpose of your program usually by the malware they used now this task the mutex function such as create mutex a open mutex a which i think we just saw it here right? Open Mutex A, create Mutex A. So it's a uh, export from this uh, library. We know this uh, is a C runtime library. We, we have seen the, in the previous task. Okay, we complete this task. Now, uh, task file. Unpack malware. The lab files used is this uh, dash 02 and dash 03.exe from chapter one. First using use uh, bin text find the strings in this uh, lab zero one dash zero two exe. 
then find the packer used to pack this one in this PID. Then use the file analyzer to find the PE sections in this one related to the packer found in the previous step. Actually, from this question, we know it's uh, packed with the UPX. Right? And uh, once we unpack it, to analyze it again with the PID dependency, bin tags, and so on. Okay, now let's uh, use bin text. Open that file. Lab 01-02.exe. Click go. Okay, here you see uh, we have quite a short list of functions uh, or strings, right? Virtual block exit process. And here you see something interesting. UPX 012. UPX 012. If you are familiar with the packers, you know UPX is a famous open source uh, packer. So we find all these strings. You can take a screenshot of all these strings and uh, put in your report. Or you can save it. Once you save it, you can open it. You can save it as a text file. Now, with the PID to find the packer, actually we already found it with this bin text, right? The PID, I open that uh, that's the 2exe. Here you see EP section UPX1. Okay, it's uh, packed by your UPS. Now, use this uh, file analyzer to f find the P sections in this uh, 02 exe file related to the packer found here. Could we find those sections named UPX or something? Okay, open our file analyzer. Then open a file, this that's uh, 02.exe. Here you go through these tabs. These tabs, PE sections. Uh, you ask to find PE sections. Quite uh, straightforward. You pick 0, 1, 2. So these are the sections related to the UPX packer. Now, unpack this one with the UPX. You can download from the official website. I think I already downloaded it for you and included in in our uh, tools here. UPX. Right? You see the UPX is here. And this is the UPX.exe. This is a file you can use to unpack those uh, exe files or those packed files to make our task simpler you can control c copy this upx story exe control c copy it go to our paste and that chapter paste here control v paste here In our uh, PowerShell terminals, you can please pay attention to uh, the location where we are. Right? We are inside that chapter 1. So when you can type uh, ls to show the files under this folder. You see all the files over there. Right? UPX is also there. Now, how do we use UPX? You can type UPX, press enter, but it's better support this uh, dot local or current folder, backward slash dot exe 
guys under now you will see the output the ultimate packer for executables written by these uh, authors programmers now how to use it upx followed by some uh, options dash o the output file this a uh, docked file you use l compress first uh, de decompress okay these are the options uh, you are going to use we are asked to uh, decompress or unpack uh, this one this uh, dash 02.exe right? so we can use uh, upx upx dash d decompress please pay attention to the location d is in this group then dash o dash o followed by the unpacked file name so we just call it um, pack 2 0 2 dot exe and followed by the file we are going to unpack that file is uh, lab 01-02.exe right then you press enter you see the output it says unpacked one file so you need to take screenshot about uh, what you have done what you got got unpacked one file here again you type ls press enter now you see that unpack 02exe is over there okay we unpacked this uh, lab 01-02.exe to get this unpack 02.exe and you see its size here this size is much much larger than this one right almost uh, four times four, four, four times right five times larger Here you will see in this uh, GUI file explorer unpack 02.exe. Now you are asked to analyze this unpacked file with the PID again. It's better to compare the analysis result on both this unpacked and this uh, original one. Compare them side by side. The PID so uh, what's my PID? I think I, the PID is closed. So I need to open that PID again. PID run it. So open this unpacked unpack 02.exe. Here now you see uh, we can see it. It's written in Microsoft Visual C++ 6.0 and so on. So as we just uh, suggested, you may uh, compare them side by side. So we run another instance. Oops, you can only run one instance. You can take screenshot, then com compare them later. I already took screenshot about that. So here. For this packed one, you only see this one, the packed one, and we don't know what uh, program language it's written with. And now, find the unpacked files imports with the dependency. Now, the dependency here, the de dependencies. We open it. Unpack zero two. Here, unpack zero two. Now you see this uh, dependency is quite nice, right? We, the history is already recorded uh, on these tabs. Here, unpack zero two is here. It uh, linked with four libraries: kernel, zero two dot l, and so on. Right. So uh, you can see all these uh, the functions it uh, called from these uh, libraries. So this is uh, quite nice.
find the strings with the bin text. Okay, this is bin text. We open that unpack 02.exe clear go. Then you see uh, all the strings inside this uh, unpacked file. And we find a uh, website malwareanalysisbook.com. This uh, website of the textbook. Then find the packer used to pack lab 01-03.exe. So how do we find it? We can use the PID, right? So we use PID. To open that 03.exe you see something uh, like this fsg 1.0 so now what's fsg is this is a uh, packer so you can copy it and search it fsg FST 1.0 1.0 So it looks like it's a packer, right? Unpacker, packer based on this information. Here, how to unpack FST. You can open these uh, links and you know that one is uh, packed with FST. And we will learn uh, next week to unpack. Uh, those uh, programs packed with FSG. And you see a lot of online examples. Here, this is what we get. Right? Do you see it? Exactly the same. Okay, now task uh, six. Use keyboard to find the capability of these three files. Each uh, file percent, I will only show you one of them. Since uh, in the lecture, I have demonstrated uh, how to use a uh, keyboard. Since keyboard is quite uh, large, so you download from the official website. So scroll down to see this keyboard. We have demonstrated and discussed this one. Uh, you can read through this documentation. Now, how do you download it? In this release, the right side, the latest release. Scroll down. You want to download the Windows version. So, I already downloaded this one, so I will not, not download it any, anymore. So, I want to find where I save it, download the keyboard. Oops, I think I deleted that one. Two five six tools clipper. Maybe I save it here. Here, clipper is here. I can use Ctrl X and uh, Ctrl C, Ctrl X, Ctrl P, Ctrl X. Go back to my lab zero eight. I will paste in this. Uh, Folder chapter one, paste here. Control V, paste here. You, you need to unzip it, right? Here is a zip file. Just unzip it, you will get this uh, capital EXE. Now, I will only demonstrate one of them for the other two files. You need to uh, complete by yourself. So again, I open this uh, PowerShell terminal window, tap LS. You see this keyboard is there, and this is chapter 1. So how do we run it? Keyboard.exe followed by the file we want to analyze. I want to analyze lab 01.01.dll. For other files, you just uh, change this one. 
then it will take some time to get the result uh, quite fast to hear these other capabilities. Receive data, send data, initialize WinSock library, act as a TCP client, and check mutex, create mutex, create process. Now you know how could this uh, program guess the functionality. It gets from those uh, functions, right? The library functions as we just uh, analyzed. Here's the mutex, create process, send receive data. We just saw those functions in our in one of our lab here. So this is how the keeper to to find those capabilities is based on these uh, functions. Okay, for other two, dash one dot exe, dash zero four dot exe, do it by yourself. Run inside the window and take screenshot about your results. Here's the capability. Okay, that's it. We complete uh, our lab zero eight. Here is a uh, optional task: customize and build your PS. Uh, UPX. For those students who are interested in this one, you can check the SAMS class custom, uh, custom UPX. I right, click here. Custom UPX. You can go through with a uh, Ubuntu machine to download and uh, modify it and compile it. So if you are interested, you can go through it. This is Sam's uh, project. Okay, we completed everything.